what's up guys welcome back to the channel my name is abby and i hardly welcome you to the caribbean and to my container garden here in trinidad and tobago this morning we're going to embark on the end of an era <laughs> the chickens are heading to freezer camp and uh, we've been at it this morning for about an hour and a half so far it's setting up all the different parts of the apparatus to um, get these birds processed. So I will be taking you guys with me this morning. It's not the first time I'm killing chickens, but it's the first time that I'm harvesting such a large quantity. And uh, I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm, it's bittersweet because um, it was really frustrating not understanding why the birds were dying. And then when I did understand, there wasn't much I can do when it came to the heat. I just kept trying. And uh, at the end of the day, we now have 21 birds from 30. So it's not a it's not a good ratio. We lost almost a third of the birds. But something is better than nothing. And I had quite a learning experience. And I would do it again. Uh, next time I'll be better prepared though. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I think I'm all set up. This is my specialty killing cone. I'm just using my BRC wire. I, I, I wrapped it into a cone shape. I have my bucket. I have to put some water in there for all the, you know, bodily fluids to drop into there. Then when I do my dispatch in here, I will come right here by my scolding my pot full of hot water to dunk to loosen those feathers then i'll be coming right here by the sink using my hose to cool down the bird so that it doesn't begin to cook then i come over here to my table where i will continue cleaning up the bird taking out all the offal all the insides and that goes inside this bucket over here. After I do all that, I have my cooler underneath here with some water and some ice bottles in there. So in there will be nice and cool and, uh, and uh, keep the bird keep, um, nice and cold until we are ready to shrink wrap them for the freezer. So guys, I am going to get right to work to get this stage, one of the stages, one of the goals that we had set for ourselves this year to finish this up and get that space where they were in to ready for planting a garden underneath there. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Guy. He's, I don't even know how many pounds, but he's sizable. So I'm going to leave him there for about a minute allow him to the blood to run to his head so that you know the draining is quicker you all right Gigi boy chicken. yes chicken <laughs> He has experienced me harvesting animals, the turkeys, and also the roosters and the previous lane flock. So I'm not too concerned about him being traumatized by this experience because he's been around it. He knows where his food is coming from. This is I. Thank you. 
I'm scalding the feet first so that we can peel off the skin off the feet. Yeah. Now I'm gonna do the bird. Now you wanna see stand up. Oh girl, oh girl, you got me going psycho Oh I know, I know, the boy don't hide you Oh I go, I go, you got me going psycho Oh I know, I know, the boy don't hide you Okay guys, so this is the first chicken so it's pretty sizable. It's a good size chicken. I think I scored it a little too long because the skin ripped. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty sizable bird. <laughs> so I have all the pieces here. So I'm going to put this now into the cooler, which is under here, and get me some food bags to put these, some Ziploc bags to put these pieces in to put in the cooler one time. So that's bird number one, bird number one. So on to 20 more birds. And this took me probably 25 minutes. So this is gonna be an all day affair, but no, no, no stress. I'll just do it, take my time, stop when I can, feed the kids, do what I can, but I'm gonna enjoy this process. I made it to the end. And that is really a good feeling, a good, good feeling. So if I could do it, you could do it too. <laughs> Okay, guys, it's three hours later, and I am only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven birds down. Yeah, it's taking me a minute. I'm trying to multitask everything. So I have to stop, deal with kids, come back, you know, the whole drill. But we reached a point where the water got a bit dirty and I needed to change it out. So before I dip the seventh bird in the clean water, what I decided to do was to put these birds into these shrink bags. I got these shrink bags because I knew that I was going to be storing them for a long time. I have a small family and we are not big meat consumers. So I expect the meat to last us a while. We're not major meat eaters. So I didn't want the meat to go bad, not go bad, get freezer burn. So I got me uh, shrink bags for the poultry. So I'm going to try this out for the first time. So I, I didn't have a tube. It didn't come with a tube. So I'm using one of small man tube from his, <laughs> his, his, his special cups. So tube. <laughs> so I'm going to, they said to put the straw in and turn the bag like this so i have some hot water here let me switch you guys around right so i have the hot water here um ashes falling from the sky all kind of stuff is falling from the sky so i have the straw in here and i'm going to they set to dip it for oh i'm supposed to put a tie strap on this. hold on it came with a set of tie straps like this let me put it on quickly. Right, so I have right, so I have the tie strap. <laughs> right, so I have the tie strap on along with the straw. And I'm supposed to emerge this for five seconds. So I'm gonna count. Count with me guys. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, I'm supposed to pull this tie strap tight. 
Oh, it did shrink. Look at that. It could be better though. It's a bit sloppy. Another one. I did another one here. You see, it's all bubbly. I <laughs> to do this. Let me raise the camera up. Right, so it's it's all saggy. So I have the straw in. I have the tie strap on. So let's dunk this for the five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> hey, it does get tight. So I'm gonna keep squeezing it to bring out the air through the straw. So it gets pretty tight. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna show you guys when I'm all done. Okay, guys, so this is how it looks. It looks pretty neat. These are some big chickens, guys. <laughs> So I'm going to put these in the freezer and I'm going to get back at it. It's day number two. I have four more chickens to do. So I'm going to get this done really quickly. And uh, get this over with. <sighs> Guys, I could go get dressed up and look all pretty. But that just won't be reality. This, what you see here, is the reality. <laughs> See, I'm two days of chicken from Sassin, okay? I am tired, but satisfied, totally satisfied. So all the birds, all 21 of them, they are in freezer camp, mission accomplished. So what I, my husband and I just did, we did a lot of the cleanup, tried to get up as much of those little itty bitty feathers, you know, the bits and pieces of meat that would have come from cleaning out the insides of the chicken. Mm. Yeah, we just generally cleaned up. He also um, dug a trench in the space where they were staying so that I can bury all the guts and the blood and stuff that I have right now in containers. But guys, that's the end of the chicken processing. My husband got to process a chicken for the first time. <laughs> first time. And it was quite funny. And uh, I'm glad that he appreciated the learning experience of putting a chicken, a live chicken, into freezer camp. So I'm going to go now and put these uh, pieces, well, these buckets of uh, intestines into the ground cover it up I'm also going to moisten um, inside the coop and cover it so that all the droppings and the grass clippings can decompose and compost in place so I probably will just leave that for about three weeks to a month and uh, it's not going to be a big deal because it's a covered space and when the rains do begin I shouldn't have too much of an issue growing in there because it would be sheltered from the excessive rainfall.
guys thanks so 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 much for joining me today i enjoyed having you guys with me <laughs> and uh, let me know in the comment section how you feel about my um success in growing the chickens let me know in the comment section anything you think i could do differently the next time that i am going to have chicken i was going to order turkeys for june but i last minute decided against it because it has been so so hot that i think i will just be adding too much to my plate especially for the summer so i'm just going to keep it simple and i'm going to jump into that another time for now i'm just going to stick with the chickens which is a five to six weeks um, crop and uh, when I get a little bit more comfortable or when we can upgrade to more space, then I will probably look into getting turkeys again. Thanks so much for joining me, guys, today. Please don't forget to like, share, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Join us here in Caribbean Charm. I really, really would love to make it to that 1,000 mark in subscribers and i could only do that guys with your help i could go chicken i could go turkey i could grow vegetables fruits but one thing i can't grow is this channel without your help so please hit that subscribe button and help me reach my goal of 1000 subscribers i appreciate all of you guys lots of love from my family to yours have a good day bye